What's going on guys? Welcome to another post on dripapps.com. Today we're going to talk about brand new domain name registration. A lot of people have been asking me, messaging me, is it okay to register a brand new domain name for my money site? Will I be able to rank it? Will I be able to rank it fast? Or is there going to be a waiting period before I'm able to rank and see movement in my rankings? And today I'm going to answer all of those questions and show you the best way to go about registering a brand new domain. So some of you are probably sitting there thinking, if I don't register a brand new domain, what other option is there if I want to build a brand new site and rank it for a completely new niche that you've never been in before? And the other option is to go out there and get an expired or an aged domain. However, don't completely rule out brand new domain registration because there are a few methods that you can follow to get an extreme amount of power from brand new domain. And we'll talk about that here in just a minute. Obviously with an aged or an expired domain, it's going to have more authority in the eyes of Google. There's going to be more trust there since it's an older domain. If you get a domain older than 2008, obviously you're going to have a little bit of an advantage over a domain name that you just registered with GoDaddy for the first time three days ago, right? But the thing is, you're not always going to have control of you know, what the domain name should be. If you have a client that you're doing SEO for, uh, chances are they're going to want to pick a branded domain name you know, for their brand. They're going to want to pick what that domain name is. Or maybe you're making a brand that you want to rank for certain search terms and you want to be able to get a branded domain name. And that's fine you can still go out there and rank those sites. Sure, it might give you a little bit of a delay. It might take a little longer to rank and get results, but that's okay because you still can get those same results. You just have to follow a little bit of a different uh, linking and anchor text strategy, which I'm gonna break down in this video. So I'm gonna hop over to my computer and show you exactly what you should do when you're registering a brand new domain name. What it should look like or if you ended up getting a branded domain name, how you should go about uh, linking to that brand new domain name. You know, how easy you should take it, how slow you should you know, build your first links because obviously you don't wanna go out there and build a ton of links to a brand new domain name right away. That's gonna look spammy, you're gonna get slapped by Google, so that's no good. So let me go over on my computer and I'll show you the exact strategies that we're gonna use for a brand new domain name. Alrighty, so I have my handy dandy notepad pulled up here and I'm gonna break down two situations uh, that you might run into when registering a brand new domain name for your money site. The first route that you could take would be registering a domain name with your keyword in the domain name or part of your keyword in the domain name. Okay, so um, we're gonna say keyword match domain name. And the second situation, second route you could take would be a branded domain name. Obviously, the first one is uh, would be our first preference we would want to get uh, a domain name with that has some of the keywords in the domain. Uh, obviously Google's giving a lot of power to you know, the URL, so if your keyword, or if you have part of your keyword in the domain name, that's gonna give you a lot of extra ranking boost. Now, let's talk about exact match domains for a second. In 2007, 2008, you could get away with making a domain name that looked like this. Uh, find the, or how about, uh, best dentist in Tampa, Florida. And your keyword was best dentist in Tampa, Florida. Right? Um, that's a little bit too long for an exact match domain. This would work, you know, in 2007, 2008, but it's a little too spammy now. Google knows that you're trying to gain the system. If your keyword is longer than two words, I would typically not get an exact match domain name. So if your keyword is one or two words, like for example, my website that I have ranking Clearwater SEO, it's only two words in the keyword. So I was able to go out there and register a domain, an exact match domain name, and it gave me a ton of extra power and allowed me to rank in just a few days time. So you can see how, you, how much power you can get from registering a brand new domain name if you have a short keyword, right? However, if your keyword was best dentist in Tampa, you know, what, what domain would you want to go out there and register? You would want to get a domain name that has part of the keyword in it. So if you go out there and register a domain name that look kind of like this, you could say, um, 
you know, best dentist directory.com or something like that. And then when you make a page that you're trying to rank for a spe specific location, sorry, you could just say like Tampa, right? Best dentist directory, Tampa. So obviously you can see we have part of our keyword here, best, we have dentist in the URL, and then on the end URL here, we have Tampa, which matches the other part of our keyword, okay? So you're, you're kind of seeing how we're doing that now uh, with our, our new URLs that we're registering for brand new uh, domain names, okay? So that's all for the keyword match domain names. They can be very powerful if you use them the right way. However, if you use them the wrong way, they can be a death sentence, right? So make sure you follow this video and do it the right way. Now let's talk about branded domain names, right? So let's say uh, your brand is like, um, you know, dripapps.com, for example. That's my website, right? And let's say, my website is all about SEO, which it is, right? How would I go out there and rank for um, SEO in Clearwater? If this is a brand new domain name, right? It has no backlink profile. If I go and just build uh, a bunch of backlinks, say private blog network links, high, high PR links, all with the anchor text SEO in Clearwater, it's gonna have 100% anchor text ratio with our keyword, and Google's gonna know that spam, right? So what we're gonna do is, you know, we're gonna make a page for Clearwater probably. I would do like dripapps.com slash Clearwater. And what I would do when I start building links is, you know, the first one I would probably say like SEO Clearwater. And the second link I would do just like a branded URL anchor text. And then I would do, you know, just like a brand like branded anchor text there, drip apps. And then the next one I would do is like SEO in Clearwater. And then I would do like another drip apps. So you see how we're kind of varying that anchor text so that it looks more natural and we're kind of branding it. Since it's a branded domain name, we're gonna send a lot of branded anchor text, right? Does that make sense? So that's pretty much all for registering a brand new domain name. Don't be afraid to go get a brand new domain name. Uh, you don't always have to get an expired or aged domain. You can rank brand new domain names just fine if you do it the right way. So that's all for this blog post, guys. I'm going to put together a file with um, a bunch of keywords, and I would show you how I would register a brand new domain name for that keyword I was trying to rank for, and I would show you how that structure would look. So I'll give you a bunch of examples with those keywords and URLs so you can get a better idea of what you should be registering for your domain name uh, for your money site, okay? So just to get that file, I'll put that in the resources below this video. There should be a resources box and you can download that file. Don't forget to share this post, guys, if you enjoyed it or if you learned anything. And look out for more emails soon.